Robbie, it's about a week away now or a bit more. How are you feeling? Yeah, sure, we're looking forward to, to getting on with it now, to be honest. Um, it's been a long year, uh, but a great year. Um, so, uh, look, at, we're looking forward to it. We're, we're all guns blazing now and we're looking forward to going to Crow Park. Yeah, it, it, it seems a long time since I was out here when you played the county final. Was it that in September, I think, and... Uh, we were, t- we were, you know, just thinking how great it would be for Bellier to win their first county final, and that's nearly all been lost in in the, like, uh, in, in in what's happened ever since. Like, you know, being Munster champions, winning the All Ireland semi final, and now you're in the final. Yeah, it's it's just kind of a, a snowball effect, really. You know, the last time I spoke to you, you know, was county final, and that went on to a replay, and you know, look at it's it's been. One story after another, and one game after another. You know, you, you take down one team, and there's there's another challenge put in front of you. And I suppose the only difficulty for us was just you know kind of managing the the gaps in between the matches. You know, there was there was nine, ten yeah. weeks between games, which is it's difficult to keep yourself motivated. Never mind the lads, but yeah. um, look at fairness to them. But they're they're great lads. And yeah, so you guys come in like uh, you know the management, and you've obviously done the right things. To, to get up from the Munster final they were saying you know if they could keep that momentum going and, and certainly even with the long break he came out again, uh, against uh, the Galway champions and, and uh, the one time at Ireland champions like, and, and, and uh, you're, in, you're in the final now what, what do you know about Kula? Well I know this they're back to back county champions up in Dublin um, that's no mean feat they were beaten in the Leinster final last year on the bounce back and won it this year you know and they're uh, they're a hugely athletic team. They've um, serious forwards. They've, I think, I think in total, I think they've ten Dublin inter-county hurlers, uh, which is you know two thirds of their team have inter-county yeah. experience. And um, you know they're they're not learning final. They're they're a serious team. You know. Yeah, there's a belly connection there as well. Is there a Mr. Keane? They're playing centre back for him. You see, you see a belly connection. Um, no, there's a Nile Keane now. He'd be in the panel. Yeah. He's he, he has a brother, Angus, who's an our panel. Angus, yes, yeah. Angus is brother, yeah, yeah. Nigel, Nigel used to play for us up to uh, a couple of years ago, but um, right, right, yeah. just due to work commitments, he um, he transferred to a club in Kula. He just wasn't able to make it back. Yeah, yeah. And um, it is ironic, really, that you know the yeah. club he left it's and funny. the club he's gone to are with yeah, all the clubs in the what's, country. You know, what's the chances of all, all the? Chances, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so you've everything, all the, all the preparations, all the all the preparations, all the. You know, the, the, the community spirit is alive and well here and I can see it any road into the parish now is, and, and even around in there all the shops and everything like it's a, you know, it's just great to see like, you know, it's ah, it yeah. park. It's a great boost for, for the team and the management, you know, when you're even last night now it was pouring down rain and we were heading off in the van and yeah. <laughs> you're going the road and you see all the signs up, so it is definitely a boost, you know, and the one thing I you know I will say is that like we're going up to Dublin to play a Dublin team, and you know I'd be encouraging anyone that has has a thought of even going, please go because these lads yeah. have they've they've trained their hearts out, they've they've you know made a huge amount of um, commitment to the cause, and at the end of the day we're representing not just Betty but Clare. So I'd be urging everyone to to get up early and go up to Dublin for the. Uh, uh, that's absolutely it. That you are once you've left the county, it does become uh, it does become that you're representing the county and you've represented represented them so well that you deserve. And and I'm sure like because you get a huge contingent from West Clare, from Bellier, Tlacastle, in this upper spot as I in Kilnamona, Kilmele. I know and and further feel like yeah. are really going to get behind you. I I, I I know my own brother's actually coming from San Francisco and he's a Kilnamona man. So I don't uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I was sure we won't hold that against him from Kilnamona. But um, I know. Yeah, look at yeah. the general. The general goodwill that's out there, you know, I was working up in Kilfenora a few weeks ago and, you know, people up there are looking forward to it and, you know, yeah. that'd be football country historically, that's but, right, you know, yeah. but they yeah. love their hurling too and, um, in yeah. fairness, you know, the, the, the goodwill has been excellent and, you know, we were feeding off that as well and it's keeping us going and training yeah, yeah. And, and in the hard nights, you know. Do, do, you, do you wake up in the morning and say to yourself, just we're in an all little final, does it seem real like... To, say, to be know. honest, I wake up most mornings and I say to myself, <laughs> where are we going to get a pitch to train tonight? <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, but, it's, um, it's been hard it's, work, yeah. It's, it's, um, it's the arena that every club player would love to be vote, at, yeah. you know, or, or even we went up there on Sunday you know, for a puck around and it's just, 
it's, it's on a different scale altogether, you know, yeah. when you're in Ocean Court Park and the stand. Yeah, but phenomenal. As I said to one of the lads there, you know, the only thing that concerns us is what goes on between the white lines, and that's yeah. the only thing we've control of. And, you know, a lot of lads have been in that that's, that stage before, yeah. and, um, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll guide the younger fellows along the way.